day 45 in the life of Anterea Perni, the famous Chinese oak silk moss. Um, some days ago they started building their cocoons and now today I would like to see what they are doing here. And then I take out the cocoons to prepare them for hibernation. So first I have to see where they are. Here are two on the top. Let's see whether I can take them down. They are also fixed a little bit to the aerarium. So I have to carefully take this away here too. So this is probably... Now look, these are the, the typical cocoons of Anterea Perni. A little bit pear-shaped, as you can see that here. So I take away this one carefully. Now they are already pretty hard from the outside here. And also the size is uh, pretty big. So, where can we have, yeah, just to have any, an idea about the length of this uh, cocoon, it's about, yeah, five, between five and six centimeters. These are the, the silk threads that glued the cocoon to the aerarium. Here's the structure of the outside, and it's pre also pretty heavy, so if we uh, go on a weight scale with this, let's see how heavy it is now. 12.9 grams, but it's probably still a pre pupa caterpillar in there, 12.9 gram. Yeah, that's eight times a Bombix Mori or a time uh, Salmia Rizzini uh, cocoon. So this one I just leave like this on this little branch of oak so I can put it into the cage for hibernation. And now let's see where the others are. I notice one I see on the top here and I don't know whether you can see that here. There's kind of a fluid coming out uh, of the poop paw, of, 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 the, of the cocoon here, so that made the aerarium a little brown here. Could be that this is the material that the caterpillars excrete to to make the cocoons better prepared against predators because it said that they should uh, excrete the oxalate uh, material so that the, the cocoon they smell bad if you taste them with your tongue. Also this one is pretty big. It's 8.0 grams. Then I, I think I've seen oh, one is here in the middle of these leaves. So let's take it out so we can see what the caterpillar did here. Ah, oh, here's, it's, you see the color still green inside here. So this is still the caterpillar working inside. That's why we see the green color. The green color inside here compared with this color here comes from the caterpillar inside so this we don't touch here anymore just put it to the side we have to wait for two days until everything is finally finished with the cocoon here's another one now this is completely covered with the old leaves of the oak also this is just can leave it like this yeah so we have five now so there's one left so where is it let's see whether we find also number five here somewhere uh, number six here somewhere ah oh, here yeah 
also this one completely covered in 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 a li also I think we can see a little through it's a little greenish compared with the finished ones here so this we also have to wait for another two days until the cocoon is completely finished but it's nice to see that we have uh, six beautiful big uh, cocoons of Ontario Penny and now we have to wait till next year because I put them in a little aquarium outside covered that it doesn't snow on it doesn't rain on it uh, that is not too cold outside maximum minus uh, 10 below zero so they should uh, stay there and come out next year around May I would guess if you subscribe to this channel you'll see when I post a new video and if you go along the playlist to see how we started with this nice uh, cocoon that we have now when they were only little eggs 45 days ago thanks for watching